I greet you in the name that is above every other name, the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. You know, the shepherd's staff, the rod of Jesse, the symbol of authority throughout the Holy Scriptures were used to signify a people, a planting of the Lord. This is spiritually a revelation of the bodily incarnation of the Savior of the world. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, or God was the Word. And the Word became a man. When the Lord was conceived by the Virgin Mary and born into the earth as a natural man, He brought in Him, with Him, to us. Everything that heaven, everything that God has to offer humanity, healing, salvation, deliverance from evil spirits, a change of nature from people of hate and people of, uh, of uh, pagan perception to people of love and people of worship to God. I'm standing here in a parcel in the Holy Lands that dates back together with you and I to our Christian uh, forefathers, ancestors that were sent by the Lord himself to take the good news of the gospel to the end of the world. You've heard me say it and you say, Doctor, uh, what does it mean that the Lord has given to us the ability to walk in the courage and the power of the first century faith? And I ask the question, what did the apostles uh, know? What did the disciples have? And how were the believers trained? Teachers and students. How did our Lord gather fishermen and tax collectors and teach us how to follow Him and become part of His uh, shepherd, His shepherdship, His family, for the Lord began a new family when He gave His life, His blood, His body for you and I to become partakers of the same salvation and the same deliverance. And in the first century, when we went about healing and delivering people and overcoming the warlocks, and the witches and the sorcerers, when we saw the shadow of Peter heal the sick and the handkerchiefs of the aprons and the cloths of the apostle Paul deliver the captives and we saw the first century believers such as the apostle John the beloved live a life of longevity and supernatural perseverance. We see not only an example, but we see the fountainhead that the Lord had poured out on the uh, 120 that were gathered in the upper room. And we see our first century believers that lived in these mountains and journeyed throughout the Holy Lands, stood for the faith, endured persecution, overcame enemies, refused to deny the Lord, and continued to believe God. And almost 2,000 years removed, as the Lord continued to move century after century, the fourth century, the fifth century, and throughout the uh, attacks of enemies and the oppositions and the hatreds of uh, um, the ungodly, the church still endured, and the gates of hell will not prevail against us. Uh, We are here standing together Uh, with our brothers and with our sisters and standing together with you as an individual, I want you to know if you are a son and a daughter of ours, you are a pastor, you are a shepherd, you are 
a leader. You are a chief in the church. Your prayer petitions I have been lifting up before the Lord. Yesterday throughout the day, I spent the day in solitude in my room praying for you as well as praying for this holy place that I'm standing in, that the entire geography of this region would be preserved by the power of God in spite of the plans of the enemy, that God's people in this land, our people would be elevated, would be blessed and would be supported and will be seen by the nations of the West and the peoples of the East that will come to support and hold hands together in the spreading of the good news of the gospel. And I want to speak specifically to our sons in the third world nations of the world. Uh, I want you to know that this first century faith that we live in is being made available to you. I'm going to come to your nations to visit you. And as I come to Africa and as I come to Europe and, 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 and the Scandinavian nations uh, this year, and as I come again to the Middle East region as of the world, we stand from now until we see you together, united in faith and in prayer. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you immediately that you have received from the Lord if the Lord has healed you. Today, I come against every sickness from cancer, leukemia, Ebola, AIDS, tumors, blood conditions, deformities, arthritis, rheumatism, every demonic affliction. I come against the thing that is trying to bind your church or bind your village, your city, your state or your nation. I stand in the authority that the Lord has given to me through his delegation and by the power of the Holy Spirit through the laying on of hands and his divine calling. And I break the power of demon spirits that would try to wage war or bring hatred or bring sickness or bring poverty or rob or steal from you. And I thank the Lord today in this in this holy land that there is no distance in prayer. Wherever I travel, I'm not away from my friends. I'm not away from my sons and we're not away from our family. We're not away from our daughters. When the Lord came to earth and he died on the cross for you and I, he was buried in a physical body that he, he, he said, Father, a body you have prepared me. He, he sowed himself into humanity as a man and he died for you and I. He opened his side to let out the provision, but he rose again from the dead to supply the power of the Holy Spirit. And we who believe on him from that day of the upper room experience throughout the traveling in Jerusalem, in Damascus, in Phoenicia, in the mountains of Lebanon, in Antioch, in Ethiopia, and in Egypt, and in Libya, and throughout the uh, 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 present day Iran and Iraq to the doors of China, we went with the power of a word that carried the apostolic authority to cause the powers of darkness to bow the knee. And today in your land, in your home, in your life, and in this land, in this home, and in these lives, we declare that the Lord God the Father will reveal his love to his people that the grace of the Lord Jesus, our Savior, will be more than enough and the partnership we have with the Almighty Holy Spirit will continue to work with us. I love you, Dr. Robin, the family, the team, and you love one another. Pray, pray that God would move in this secret place that I am part of that the Lord will preserve every boundary, every region, every family, every child, every person, 
and the, the Lord would enable the church today, you and I, to face this similar world of paganism and hatred with the good news and the power of the gospel. I love you and God bless you.